Well, I did knock off parts of the shell walker, but I was just sick of the shell walker, so I left. Whatever. We can find shell walkers in the wild if I actually need the parts. I didn't really knock off the parts to get them. I knocked them off so it would stop using lightning in the shield. Did that actually open some of my map? Please open. It worked. Okay, good. Yo, easy skill points. Oh, hey there, buddy. That is so beautiful. On oh, with the music too. Oh, that's pretty. You isn't too bad either. Completed tall neck. That did reveal some of my map. Look at that's that's really cool. What's the purpose in this tall neck? Like all of the clouds around this tall neck have already been shown. I wonder if this is a super late game tall neck. And if you do this tall neck, maybe it takes away all of the cloud cover, period, even the faded out bit. Dude, combining the tall neck with that cauldron was awesome what a great idea they do so insanely well with the tall necks in this game man yeah we should have done this cauldron way earlier i only got it in hindsight but this tall neck is the reason when you see all tall necks on the map it also showed this cauldron without any explanation oh dude i never would have made that connection i never would have noticed that in a million years that is an awesome tall neck though is that a ravager over there just chilling I probably need some Ravager parts to be able to uh, get the override for the Ravager, I think. These lan uh, Lance Horns might cause a problem, but... Come on. Just craft some stuff up real quick. How do I do the new roping ability. Yeah, I have, like, the penetrating rope ability. How do I, like, activate that, chat? Oh, look, there's even a tall neck path right here that I probably should have noticed if I was paying more attention. That was very awesome. How do I do my new, uh, ability that just, like, instantly grabs? Oh, is it passive? Hey there, bud. It does appear to be passive. Kinda, maybe? I can't tell. Get down. Oh. Did not dodge fast enough. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to hit R1 there. Well. Bad. Bad. Wait, come back. Oh, dude, he just doesn't care. Oh, I guess the Ravager can just decide that he's not going to put up with, uh... He's not going to put up with, uh, whatchamacallit anymore. He's just like, yeah, whatever. I'm not actually affected by that anymore. Goodbye to all your ropes. I don't think that was using weapon durability, so I don't think that was doing the new ability I got with the rope caster. There's got to be some way to, like, proc it. Die. Please. All right, cool. Killed it. Uh, there's another one right behind him. Hey, I killed your brother. Oh, I really wish you hadn't hopped like that. Hey, bud. Take that. I need some, like, primary nerves, maybe some hearts, etc., etc. Nice, nice. Wait, come back. Actually, no, run away a little bit so I can pick up this cannon. But then come back. Hi, bud. This is really gonna hurt with the acid you got going on. Where is it going? Come back over here and fight me, coward. Nice. Perfect. Crit! 
He's still alive. He's still alive. Uh oh! Still very alive. Very dead. There we go. All the effects are activated by R1, just like triple notch. Ah, okay. Okay. Just R1 to activate any of them. So let me let me test that then. Not gonna happen. Oh, R1 just insta shoots it. Oh, okay. All right, I get it now. I understand now. All right, being able to insta shoot like that, that also like, that insta shot. Okay, it does use 10 of the ropes, I'm realizing. Or no, it doesn't. It like, at first it like went down to two, but then it was like, nah, you're good. Maybe because it's missing, it's not using it, but like it doesn't use a lot of weapon durability is what I'm getting at. Very little uh, weapon durability use is very, very good. Oh, you get the ropes back if you misfire, okay. Being able to do that instantly is going to be a big help for some machines. Like a huge help. Thank you. I don't wanna deal with these lance horns. Let's get this shelter right over here. And fast travel out of here. All right, that, that cauldron took about 40 minutes. It seems like the cauldron's on average about 45 minutes, give or take. Which I think is a very good amount of time for them. That was a really fun one. At first I was like, dang, this is gonna be really quick, but having to do the extra mile to get out and rebuilding the tall neck was super cool. I can catch my breath here. Very much liked that a lot. Anything to do with the workbench? Got anything cool going on here? Could level up this again. I don't want to use the green shine on it because I want to replace it with a purple or an orange at some point. What do I need for this green shine? I don't have any green shine chunks. I just need one green shine chunk. And then I'm going to need a lot more green shine stuff. Hopefully we end up getting a lot of nice green shine stuff from opening up, uh, from opening up metal flower locations now. That would be really nice. Clamberjaw Tail Duster. All right. I definitely want to get that at some point. And then we need Frost Claw Sack Webbings for this. Oh, joy. But all we need for this is the two Frost Claw things to get to level three. And to get to level two, we just need the, the Clamberjaw Tail Duster. Just one more. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Interesting. Chunks is the green shine I got the most of. Oh, must be nice. I get like everything else. Oh, Grazer is the, the first one that we hadn't had. Another classic, I didn't realize. Where, we got Watchers last time. Where are the Red Eye, there they are. Red Eye Watchers are in the game and then they apparently have an Apex. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight machines that we have not scanned any version of. Okay. Oh, Sunwings don't have any variants. That's interesting. I also need to sell all this stuff for a ton of money. And then we have eight skill points. Infiltrator. I know I wanted to try to get the Radial Blast, I think it is right here. Yeah, I want Radial Blast. And Quiet Movement is also very good. And I'm going to go ahead and level up Radial Blast. Damage versus shocked enemies for 15 seconds plus 100%. That sounds amazing. I think I might actually wait for two more skill points to level that up again, to be honest. Silent Strike Heal just honestly sounds worthless to me. Like, it does not sound useful at all. Also, I barely use Sharp Shot Bows, so I don't really care about that. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hold off to level up Radio Blast again, because it sounds like it'll be a really fun skill to use. Alright, well, Cauldron's done. What do we want to do now? Let's go back to Gaia to see about those overrides that we can't do by default. So let's go look at that real quick, and we can probably chat to some people in here. I know Catalo has a quest for us. I'm going to hold on that for a little bit longer. But I'm sure we have some dialogue to get through with everyone. We might do that mission with Zoe and Talana today, to be honest. I'd like to knock out both of those, potentially. Dirt. Don't forget all that dirt we had to bring in. If we're going to go around trying to protect life, we should have more of it around. I think it looks nice. Aloy, I hear you're going further west past the Tanakh clanlands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. 
The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. What a loser. How much have you read on Ted Farrow? Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. For one spirit to diminish in such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. It looked like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the land gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry. Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? I, he's right there, I know! Remember the time where we talked about him as if he wasn't right there? Oh, uh, that's funny. Lover, lovers quarrel there. How do you feel about Zoe? I like Zoe. She's a really neat character. Zoe and Catalo are both really cool. Really good additions to the, uh, the cast. Varl looks pretty focused. He's been obsessing over the data revealed to us by Poseidon. Just the other day, we read about mountains hiding deep underwater that spew fire. If I understand correctly, Gaia said the flames they release come from the very center of the Earth. Like a heart, beating with the life of the world. As always, the cycle can be found in even the most unlikely of places. Of course, Varl's mostly interested in watching explosions happen underwater. My man's a dude. What do you- we just like explosions in unique places. What can I say? I assume you've been looking into Demeter now that Gaia's merged with it? Yes. It's been humbling to know that the seeds I carry in this pouch came in turn from the seeds saved for Demeter in the old world. It gives me hope that the cycle of life will prevail now just as it did before. You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. <laughs> Poor Zoe and Varl. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? Well, there's always Catalo. Leave allowed Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? Nothing. They'd become best buds. They could get their own spin-off sitcom. What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. Oh, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Festus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready. Alright, let's go, uh... We're not gonna be doing main missions for a little while, so let's actually, uh... We could just pop in here every now and then and talk to another character to go through all their dialogue. So we got Zoe done. Let's go look at the, uh, machine creation stuff. And then we'll do some more side missions, arena, etc. And then we'll come back and talk to Aaron or Varl and rinse and repeat until we've got them all caught up. Hello. Alright. So what have we got? Uh, oh, it actually puts the ones you haven't done at the front. I very much appreciate that. All of the Mew overrides have been completed, which is good. Why does this one have a little orange splash? That's very interesting. But alright, so Bellowbacks, Ravagers, Sky Drifters, Snap Maws, and Rollerbacks. We need another Rollerback Hammertail, which I only have one of at the moment. And then we need a Primary Nerve, which I don't have. We've got the stuff for Snap Maw. Let's do it. Very good. 
Uh, we got the stuff for Sky Drifter. Unfortunately, we're out of their Razor Tails now, but it's got to be done. That's going to be all of our Ravager primary nerves, but that's completed as well. And there goes all of our Bellowback Sack webbings, but hey, it's done. We were able to get all those knocked out except Rollerback. Not bad at all. We just need a primary nerve, which I think is just like a normal drop, I believe. Which isn't bad. And then uh, the Hammer Tail, which is a forced drop, which we can definitely do. I need to catch up on the YouTube vids. I'm so far behind. Uh, YouTube is far behind on uploading, too. By the time this stream is over today, I think we'll be at part 139. And I think I'm uploading part 100 tomorrow. So. The backlog will have a good chance to catch up, though. Because I'm not going to be streaming this this coming Saturday. Because that's a Pixelmon day. So there's only going to be a... Uh, there's only going to be a... Um, whatchamacallit. There's only going to be a Forbidden West stream on Wednesday and Sunday. Open up. Can you miss dialogue if you don't do it at certain times? I don't think so. Chill air is prickling my lungs. It might be if you get to like near the very end of the game or something, you can potentially miss some dialogue depending. But uh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do a quick save. I don't think there's a really a chance of missing dialogue unless you don't do it like unless. Uh, let me put it this way. There's definitely no way we're going to miss out on dialogue unless I do the Pharaoh's Tomb mission, and we will go through all of the base dialogue before I do Pharaoh's Tomb. I'm really starting to think now, by the way, after getting this tall neck up north, I think this tall neck, you have to get something super late game to get to it, and then once you do that tall neck, it removes all of the extra cloud cover, because it doesn't make any sense otherwise, right? What else is this going to uncover? Because the top and the bottom would have already done it. I hope that's what it does, because that would be really, really cool. That would be really awesome. I would like that a lot. But I guess we'll see when we get there. Can't play this game because I don't have a PlayStation. I'll enjoy playing vicariously through you. Thanks, good sir. Oh, thank you for watching. I'm glad you're enjoying. Do, do, do. So what do we want to do, do now? Honestly, let's go. Let's don't have words. Let's go knock out some of the arena. Let's go do some of the arena. Hello. I think I have some more tags to turn in as well. Does that, uh, does the arena lady, does she also give, does she also give different armors for doing that? Maybe we can find an armor I really like from her to work towards. Hello. What can I do for you, Aloy? Got some of them dang tags. Got some more tags for you. I'm never happy to get them. But hopefully they'll comfort the squad mates and families of our lost soldiers. This is for you. As always, the tribe values your efforts. Thank you. You do! Nora- Oh, dude, that looks pog. That looks cool. Tanakh outfit, eh. Karja's Stalker Elite also looks really cool, but it's a trapping one. Uh, it's, it's not just Trapper, though. It's also, uh... It's also, like, uh... Being, uh, a stalker and stuff. Like, being sneaky. This Nora Thunder Warrior, though, looks sick. It makes me really weak to ice and plasma, but strong and everything else. And then, this is weak to acid and fire. So, if I get the Karja Striker Elite and the Nora Thunder Warrior, those two things, like, cover everything. I love these. Stealth Ranged is, like, fine. Heavy Weapon Plus is also fine. They're not great. But Concentration, all that Concentration stuff in Stamina Region, that is amazing. That is very good. And then we might even be able to get cooler, uh, outfits for it. Oh, yeah. I think originally I was going to be like, oh, baby, we need to get these weapons first. But I think the very first thing I'm going to get is this Nora Thunder Warrior. And this is going to be like our default outfit pretty much from there. Like, that's what we'll stick with. So we need to get to 54, whatchamacallit. Instant Brittle Chance. Enemies have a chance to instantly enter the Brittle State when hit with impact, explosive, or frost damage. That's pretty neat. Oh, uh, just an instant chance of, uh, it's so low, though. Very low. Yeah, we need the Death Seeker's Shadow. Okay. First thing, North Thunder Warrior. Second thing, Death Seeker's Shadow. Good Definitely. Luck on the hunt. 
Would it be better to get that AoE Valor attack you just unlocked leveled up than do the arena battles? Mm, yeah, it could be pretty helpful for it. It could be pretty useful for it, potentially. I do only need two more skill points for it. That's a good point. There's some Machine Strike right there. That is a fair point. Oh, we still have to do this stuff with Decca. You know what? This will give us two skill points. Let's finish up this side quest. Oh, but it is like super far at like a new area. Maybe I won't do that one just yet. I don't want to have to go super far out. I do really just want to do the arena, but leveling it up first would be good. You know what? We have these side quests up north, don't we? We do. A soldier's march as well. Up past the bulwark. Oh, and there's another cauldron right there. I didn't even see that one there. So there's at least two more cauldrons there and there. I assume there's one more way out west. Three more cauldrons? Wasn't expecting that. I don't know if we'll do this cauldron today. But I think... what's This is a soldier's march? Let's get these super northern side quests done. I'm just going to use a fast travel pack, whatever. Whatever. 